Hello everyone, it's Michael from MDO Video, and today I'm going to talk about arc fault circuit breakers. Now, this here is an arc fault circuit breaker. Let me show you. So, the way it works is you've got this little tab here. This is what plugs onto the bus bar on the panel. This neutral pigtail, this goes to the neutral bar in the panel, and then you've got two little screws. You've got You've got a screw here for your neutral, a screw here for your hot. Now, let me explain first how this thing actually works. So you've got your panel, okay? This is just a little 60 amp, uh, came out of a 60 amp sub panel. Uh, and that plugs onto there, if I can, okay, see that? That little clicks on, all right? And then your neutral pigtail goes under one of these screws, all right? And then you've got your hot and neutral go under the breaker. Your neutral goes on the bottom screw, which would be silver, and the hot goes under the gold screw, which is on the top. Now, these arc fault breakers with the pigtails are kind of kind of starting to be phased out a little bit. Um, because, see this little plastic clip? Well, what they've done, at least, is a few manufacturers that have made what's called a PON breaker, or plug-on neutral. And what that is, is, it's this clip, they've replaced it with a metal piece, and instead of having this pigtail, this metal piece clips onto the neutral bar, so you don't have all these little, these curly tails all over the panel. Now, um... I have made up panels with these kinds of breakers, and I've also done panels that have the PON plug-on neutral breakers. And I have to say, I like the plug-on neutral breakers better. It's they save time because you're, it's, you you got to straighten this out. You have to terminate it under the the screw, and it just it takes a lot of time. But with the plug-on neutral breakers, you don't have all this mess to worry about. Now. Um, all of the uh, arc fault, ground fault, dual function breakers, they all hook up the same way. Um, so this one here, I, this is either an arc fault uh, breaker or it, it could be a dual function. Um, but nah, this is a uh, old. This is an old arc fault, but. Um, the new the new arc faults have a, a white test button. This this might be an older one. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I know it, it's an it's some arc fault breaker. Now this one here, um, this one here was uh, it just tripped all the time. So, but uh, let me show you though. See that that's a regular one and you just put the screw under it. Um, let's see. So that's what you need to know about arc fault circuit breakers. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.